Question two, how do we add all of these productive tools to our tool palette? For hatches, we just click and drag the hatch to the tool palette. Then we can rename it. Again, the same process, click or right click and drag it. If you, since I don't need them because I have it, I can click and delete them. We add text in the following way. Before, let's see what happens if I just drag this text to the tool palette. As you can see, that's not what we want. The secret here is first make the text a block and then drag it to the tool palette. Then you will change some settings in order to explode that block at the same time that you insert it. I'll explain properties in a while. We add blocks up in our tool palette just the same way as we add the hatches. Click and drag. We add line types in a similar way, selecting it, click and drag. Select, right click and drag, and then we can rename it. We add dimensions by selecting it, right click and drag it. Select, right click and drag it. We add system variables to our tool palette in the following way. The secret here is to create a rectangle or polyline and then click and drag it to the tool palette. Then go to properties and change use flyout to no. And then we can type the system variable in this rectangle. In this case, I'll use wipeout frame system variable. Set that to 1 since that will turn wipeout frame on and I'll name it. I'll copy this to create wipeout frame off. And I'll change 1 to 0 since that is the settings to turn wipeout frame off. By the way, if you want the Lazy Architect to release a video on how to do wipeouts for real circles and arcs, help us reach a hundred likes on this video. We add commands in the following way by going to properties and select customize commands. In this case, I'll add the zoom extend command. I'll click and drag it to the tool palette.
Oops. Just subscribe.